Here are five stunning spaceflight moments from the past year that I hope you'll find interesting. The Misadventures of Starliner Designed as an astronaut taxi for NASA, the Starliner was meant to ferry astronauts to the ISS and beyond. The Starliner capsule launched atop an Atlas V rocket with veteran NASA astronauts at the helm. Wilmore and Williams were scheduled to spend about a week in space running tests, but many problems were found with the capsule, including helium leaks and thruster malfunctions. NASA deemed it too risky to send astronauts back in the capsule, so it was sent back to Earth unmanned on September 7th. This left astronauts stranded in space until at least March of 2025 as SpaceX prepares a Dragon capsule to retrieve the marooned astronauts. Europa Clipper Scouts for Life NASA's groundbreaking Europa Clipper spacecraft is now making its way towards Jupiter's icy moon of Europa. Scientists think that a liquid ocean sits beneath the icy surface of Europa. It is theorized that the tidal forces between Europa and Jupiter create a great deal of heat in the moon. This heat could melt a large amount of ice under the surface and create large oceans with temperatures comparable to deep oceans on Earth. This spacecraft will use a suite of advanced instruments to map the surface and search for the building blocks of life. China Returns Rocks from the Dark Side China's robotic Chang'e 6 mission returned samples from the far side of the moon for the first time ever this year. On June 1st, the lander touched down in the southern pocket of the unexplored Apollo crater to scoop and drill for samples. The samples were then transferred to the ascender and propelled into orbit around the moon. The samples were transferred again to the orbital module for their return flight to Earth. The sample capsule landed in Inner Mongolia's grasslands on June 25th with 4.4 pounds or 2 kilograms of moon rocks. SpaceX makes history. Backed by billionaire Jared Isaacman, the goal of the mission was for private astronauts to conduct a spacewalk for the first time in history. On the first day of their five-day mission, resilience reached a maximum altitude of 870 miles or 1,401 kilometers higher than any other crewed orbiting spacecraft in history. Aside from Isaacman, the crew consisted of former U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Scott Petit, the mission's pilot, and SpaceX engineers Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon. Isaacman partially exited resilience for a spacewalk on September 12th, followed by Gillis a few minutes later. SpaceX makes history again. The Starship program took a huge leap forward on October 13, 2024 when SpaceX managed to pluck their behemoth 223-foot or 70-meter tall Super Heavy booster out of the sky safely with the launch tower's chopstick arms. The success marks a huge step forward in human spaceflight, inching us ever so slightly closer to our destiny among the stars.